this is Jock and Coach of the San Francisco Sinneries. Uh, before we get into it, uh, I'm sorry this one went up so late. I've been practically busy all day the past couple days, even though this was recorded a few days ago. Uh, the time I recorded it, I had to be quiet, so I was playing the battle and recording, but I wasn't able to commentate over it. So that's what we're going to be doing mainly today. So this one might be a little shorter than usual. Uh, let's get right into it here. Uh, I, I should say before we go, he brought most of the team I was expecting. I wasn't sure if Bronzong would be there, uh, but it did end up coming. So we're going to leave Dracovish. Uh, it gave this team a lot of problems that he didn't have a great answer to it most of the time. So uh, I felt that Dracovish was pretty safe, especially considering what he brought. So we're going to leave that and see what he wants to do. I think his best option uh, was probably his Torkoal in terms of beating the Dracovish because the Sun would stop a Ficious Rend uh, and it's got high enough defenses that it can take one especially in the Sun. I think he can take one normally unless I'm Choice Banded though, which I am not. I'm Mystic Water, so uh, we just want to see what he's going to send out here um, and he ends up sending out the Volcarona. Uh, now here, I just want to set up Substitute because he shouldn't stay in with Volcarona. Uh, but he does end up staying in the Quiver Dance, which is very bad for us, because that means he's not scared. So he's probably uh, something defensive, but uh, I didn't want anything else coming in to take whatever he decided. Bug Buzz was likely because it went through the substitute, but yeah. Skarmory needed to be at full health here, because Skarmory can kill with a Brave Bird as long as the Sturdy is there. So I couldn't risk taking any Bug Buzz damage, even though it would be pretty negligible. Uh, I want the Sturdy, because at the special attack level he's at, I would have died uh, from a Fiery Dance, and because of the speed, Skyrim would have been outsped, so I just needed a Brave Bird, now I can just Grassy Glide. I can't risk him uh, staying in and going for anything else, so I need to Grassy Glide just to kill. So we're going to Grassy Glide here. Uh, not a very good start to the battle, losing two things for Volcarona was not ideal. Especially losing Dracovish, because Dracovish is a big problem for his team. Torkoal comes in here, which is the right call on his end, uh, especially setting up the sun. We're just going to go Umbreon, because there's not much Torkoal does that spook us, other than maybe the Choice Specs Eruption. Uh, it doesn't look like he's going to be that, though, since he just Will-O-Wisp. So we're going to Foul Play. I could Toxic, but I think Bronzong's a pretty safe switch for him. Uh, yeah, he does end up going Bronzong, probably expecting the Toxic there. And Foul Play actually does a lot more than I was expecting. I didn't think it would be doing half to Bronzong. Uh, if I had to guess, this is probably Heatproof, considering he brought his own sun. And I get a lucky high roll there, and I end up two-hit killing Bronzong. So we're we're in a pretty good spot here. We're at 4-4, four four, um, but I can't really stay in against Azumarill. And the trouble is, Skarmory was my best Azumarill answer. Uh, and I, I let Umbreon go down. I don't know if that was the right call or not. If I, I probably should have switched into Salazzle, in all honesty. Because the sun was still up, so I wouldn't have taken too much from Aqua Jet. And he might have been choice banded. Uh, but yeah, here... I'm debating on what I should be doing. Like, Salazzle has, you can argue for Salazzle that it's a decent switch, but the sun goes away. Um, Rillaboom's a good switch if you get a Grassy Glide off, but he does have a couple good answers. But I'm gonna go with Rillaboom and see what we can do here. So, uh, I feel like at the point I'm at in the game where I'm behind, I need a Dynamax to try and generate some pressure. I think it was Torkoal, which is the right call, because he is worried about the Grassy Glide. I should have probably high horsepower there, predicting the switch, but, uh, I didn't want to risk anything, so Grassy Glide, or G-Max Drum Solo it was, and now we're just going to Max Quake, get the special defense boost, and we are Assault Vest, so we'll take it very nicely, but he makes a good call and just Will-O-Wisps, burns me. Uh, and that's going to be unfortunate, because we're going to get our attack lowered, and we only can raise it once with the Max Knuckle, uh, but we want a Max Knuckle here, because there's the off chance he goes Porygon, which he does, but it's also the right call just to try and boost my attack up to a usable level. Um, so we're going to get the attack boost off there, and we're going to go back to our normal state, non-G-maxed. So now we got a couple interesting options. The first thing I want to do is knock off. I want to get rid of this thing's Eviolite, uh, because otherwise it's going to be able to recover stun, and I do not want that. So thanks to the special defense boost and the assault vest, we're going to be taking it very well. He doesn't have Eviolite anymore, so I want to be drain punching here. He can go uh, Azumarill. And I won't have Grassy Terrain, but I will still be faster than Azumarill, and Aqua Jet doesn't do much to me. So uh, we're just going to keep Drain Punching to see what he wants to do. His best option is Venusaur, um, but he wants to set up Sun before he does that, and he can't risk Torkoal coming in and dying. It probably doesn't die on a Drain Punch, but he doesn't want to risk me um, high horsepowering. 
so we're gonna drain punch again and he makes the right play gets the sun up with Torkoal um, and at this point the game's pretty much over because the Venusaur can just come in and sweep everything the the items I have on Gardevoir and um, Salazzle don't let me win the game from this position that uh, Gardevoir can't pick up the kill onto G-Max Venusaur and Salazzle is not going to outspeed the G-Max Venusaur to kill it so uh, I pretty much lost and I'm just trying to clean up as many kills as I can here that's the idea uh, so we're gonna pick up the Porygon he's gonna go into Venusaur and I have to high horsepower I can knock off and I do, but it was a mistake because I didn't notice at the time he was Grassy Seed and already got it off, so... Uh, high Horsepower was the better call there. It would have done, I mean, pretty similar amounts of damage, which is kind of nothing, but uh, it would have been the better call because I would have gotten more damage off either way. And I Grassy Glide just to get a bit more chip in hopes that I can do something. He max oozes for the special attack boost, and then we're going to go into Gardevoir because Gardevoir is what we choice scarfed. Uh, and Gardevoir will outspeed because of Chlorophyll. Uh, so Gardevoir was a possibility to clean up the game. Uh, and I can win from this position. In that I would... The, the only trouble is I need to get past this Venusaur. Or I need Sun to end. And I have no way to stall out the three turns of Sun to get Salazzle in safely is the problem. Because now uh, I just bring in Salazzle. And he's going to Earth Power. And the game is over. If I was Scarf or Balloon, it was a winnable game, but I'm not, so. Uh, we take our first loss of the season. It's going to be a 3-0. Uh, my, big, my big problem there uh, was a couple of things. I let, I let my walls go too early. Keeping Umbreon around would have been necessary to block... Um, would have been necessary to block Venusaur a little more effectively. It doesn't really get anything to block... Uh, or to hit Umbreon. And then keeping Skarmory around was more necessary for Azumarill, so I didn't play it perfectly and I made a lot of mistakes with stuff like the knockoff, so honestly not very happy with myself for the way I played that one, but nothing I can do about it now. I just gotta move on and focus on trying to get the best seed possible for playoffs. So yeah, thank you for watching.